To get started with the installation of Gorilla ROI, go into your Amazon user settings and then go to the manage app uh, section. And from there, make sure you enter our Gorilla ROI development ID, and then that will generate the seller ID that you have as well as the authentication token. And those two are required in order to activate the add-on. So once you have that in place, let's move on to the actual add-on installation. You can do this from any existing spreadsheet that you have, or you can do it from a brand new one. The process is the same. Go to add-ons, get add-ons, and then here type in Gorilla. I'm going to select the first one, or it doesn't really matter. It will bring up both options that we have. The first one is the one for single businesses where you may only have one account, or even if you have two, it doesn't matter whether the data is combined. If you are an agency and you have multiple accounts that you want to separate, then make sure you use the agency one. Select. I'm selecting the single business one, then install, continue. It will ask for some permissions on which account you want to install it for, so allow. Then once it's installed, click done, close this window. And to see whether it's been installed, go back into add-ons. And you'll see that the add-on name has been um, added. So Gorilla Sheets for Amazon Seller Central. From here, click on Add Main Amazon Account. And now this is where you're going to enter your seller ID and the token that you got from um, Seller Central. So as this is a test, I'm just going to put a test uh, one. I'm going to uncheck this for now. And then click Save. Select, make sure you select the correct marketplace. So since I'm just doing it for the US, I selected US. If you're in Europe, um, your main one may be UK or Germany. So once that's done, you can go back into that and you'll see that the full options has now been um, listed. So you can see all the different functions and the functionality that we have. Okay, as a test, I'm going to just load my SKUs that I have up on Amazon for this test account. So to do that, it's just equals gorilla underscore skew list. You can also just pull in ASIN list if you want. And as you type, you'll see, um, you'll get information on what parameters that you can enter. I'm not going to enter anything. I just want the default list. So I'm going to click on that. And once all your information has been imported, you'll be able to pull in information immediately. So let's say I wanted to bring in, say, um, last month, of sales it's the same thing equals gorilla we have the functionality and the documentation available so sales count and i'm going to do it for last month for the u.s market and for the list of SKUs, i'm going to highlight all of these SKUs that i want to bring it for and i'm just going to leave it at that press enter and all the data is now populated directly into your sheet as opposed to you having to go into Seller Central. So that's how it works. Okay, thanks.